Carnival Cruise Tip Part 8. So as somebody who truly believes the bigger the ship, the better, the longer the cruise, the better, I've had my fair share of being lost on the ship, and I'm here to help you not make that same mistake. So when you're first booking your cruise, you are going to have the choice between booking your stateroom in one of three different categories. You will either be in the front of the ship, the middle of the ship, or the back of the ship. The front of the ship is abbreviated FWD for forward. That's what you'll see on the signs. The middle of the ship is MID for mid, and the back of the ship is AFT for aft, the back of the ship. So with that being said, you're always going to want to try to find your corresponding elevators. So don't get on the front elevators if you were in the aft of the ship. Don't get on the middle elevators if you were in the forward of the ship and vice versa. Always try to get on your corresponding elevators because some floors do not go all the way through carnival celebration. And uh, it will be hella frustrating trying to walk straight through and realize you're blocked off. Now I got to go all the way back, start over all over again. Also, keep in mind, when you finally do get up to your correct floor, you're either going to be making a right or a left for even or odd. You don't want to be on the even side looking for your odd room state number. You are going to be so irritated that you're going to have to turn around and be doing a lot of walking trying to bend that corner. What can feel like miles almost. So to alleviate that stress, always go with your corresponding elevators and remember whether you're making a right or a left once you get up to that floor. So yeah, I hope this was helpful to somebody. If so, let me know down below in the comments. Drop a cruise emoji to show your girl some love and follow for more travel content. Bye!